I'm David Mello from the Fall River Public Library, Supervisor of Children's Services. And if you're wondering what this great big blue squid is doing wrapped around me, why so am I? But that's okay, because our stories today are all about surprises. And our first story features a great big blue squid in it. And that story is called I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. And it is written by Kevin Sherry. We'll see if he really is the biggest thing in the ocean. He might be surprised. I'm a giant squid and I am big. He certainly is. I am bigger than the shrimp. I'm bigger than these clams. I'd say he was. I'm bigger than this crab. I'm bigger than this jellyfish. I'm bigger than these turtles. And yes, he is. Let's count them together. How many turtles are on this page? One, two, three, four, and five. And he's bigger than all five of them. I'm even bigger than this octopus. <gasps> Shh. I'm bigger than this shark. Shh. I'm bigger than this fish and this fish, and this fish, and this fish, and that fish. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean! <gasps> Uh-oh. What's just come along? It looks like a whale. Uh-oh. And there's our friend the blue squid inside the belly of the whale with all these other little fish that he met. I guess he wasn't the biggest thing in the ocean. <gasps> I think he realizes that now. I'm the biggest thing in this whale! Well, I like the way he thinks about things. And that's, I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. He was a little surprised, I bet. Our next story is about, oh, let me get this book right over here. It's a nice little green book, but there's no title on it. Hmm, let's open it up and read it anyway. Maybe the title's inside. <gasps> oh, what a surprise. Well, I can't read this one. But our next story has its own surprise to it. It's about a mysterious package called Special Delivery. And it's by Bridget Weniger and Alexander Reichstein. And look, this book even has handles on it, like a package.
One morning, the doorbell rang. Ding dong. Let's open up the door. It was the postman bringing a great big brown box. In the box was the new vacuum cleaner that Mother had ordered. Mother was pleased and tried it out right away, vacuuming every room in the house. That afternoon, the doorbell rang again. Ding dong! Shall we open it? Outside stood a great big painted box. What's this? said Mother. Another package? She looked to the left. She looked to the right. There was no one in sight. But there on the great big box were great big letters that said quite clearly, Mother! Well, said Mother, I am certainly the only mother in this house, so this must be for me. She pushed the box into the hall. What could it be? Mother puffed up. The box is so heavy and it rumbles like rocks. Maybe it's full of gold and treasure. And Mother's imagining what could be inside that box. <gasps> but wait, why, what's this? And Mother noticed a small opening on the side of the box and she carefully felt inside. <gasps> what could, what could it be? There is something soft and furry. Is it something to cuddle? Maybe it's a giant stuffed toy. And Mother imagines that there's a stuffed animal inside, but is that what's really in there? Ooh, but w wait, what's this? On the other side of the box was another opening. Mother put her fingers in. What could it be? There is something smooth and round. Is it something to play with? Maybe it's a huge rubber ball. And Mother imagines a great big rubber ball in the box. <gasps> but wait, what's this? <gasps> Mother listened very carefully. <clears throat> What could it be? Something inside is breathing and rustling. Is it something alive? Something lovable? Maybe, maybe it's a soft, plump kitten. But wait, oh, no, no, no more waiting. Mother couldn't bear it any longer. There must be something very special, something one of a kind something absolutely wonderful in this box. What could it be? And Mother opened up the first flap of the box. Mother opened up the second flap of the box. Mother opened the third and fourth flaps of the box. What could it be? <gasps> Why, it was a treasure. It was cuddly and playful. It was alive and very special. It was one of a kind and it was absolutely wonderful. It was me, said the little boy. What a surprise. And that is What's, oh, special delivery. Now, our next surprise, ooh, before I read our next book, I, I notice a, 
a couple of boxes here. I wonder what could be inside. I love surprises. Let me see. Oh, this looks like a nice little gift box right here. I wonder what could be inside. Should we check inside and look? Let's see. Something seems to be moving in there. Are you guys ready? Oh, <gasps> three little mice. What a surprise indeed. I wasn't expecting three little mice to be in that little box. Hello, fellas. Well, why don't you guys go back to sleep? Okay, go back in there. That's it, that's it. We'll let you take a little nap. Okay, that was, that was quite a f surprise. Now, ooh, there's another box over here, a blue one. It looks like a chest. Shall we see what's inside? Hmm, let me see. Oh, there is a lock on this one. We'll, we'll need a key. There, my imaginary key. Shall we open it? Okay, let's look inside and see what could be in this box. Do you have any idea what could be in here? I know I don't. <gasps> Three little bears. Why, look at that. Hello, bears in a box. Wow, they're jumpy little fellows. I wasn't expecting bears, were you? Okay. Well, guys, why, why don't you go back inside for a little while? I'll let you out later. I, I have another story I have to be doing. Here we go. Quite a surprise. Oh, and there's one more box. Very curious. It's shaped, shaped like a house. What, what could be inside this box? Why, it's a house made of bricks. Would you have any idea what could be in this house? Let's check and see. Let's, uh... Let's be polite and we'll knock on the front door, shall we? Anybody in there? Why, of course. Three little pigs. What else would be in a brick house? Hello, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> Another surprise. Well, there is a surprise in store in this book right over here. We're going to pretend to go down into the deep blue sea. There are many wonderful surprises awaiting us down there. And this book is written by David A. Carter and Peter Seymour. And before we uh, open up this book and dive on in, let's take a deep breath, everybody. <gasps> and hold your nose. <gasps> and here we go. What's in the deep blue sea? What's in the deep blue sea? Let's find out. <gasps> What's under this sea anemone? Ooh, let's check, check and see what could be hiding under that beautiful purple sea anemone. Any ideas? Maybe. Let's find out. How about a shy little seahorse? Was, was that what you were thinking of, a seahorse? If you were, well, you were right. He's really cute, too. What else is in the deep blue sea? Let's find out. Ooh, now what's crawling through this seaweed? Something's behind there. I see it's red, I see it's white. Let's pull down the seaweed and see what it could be. <sighs> There's a tail. <gasps> it's a shaky little shrimp. That's what was hiding in the seaweed. Well, we'll let you go back to hiding, little shrimp. There you go. Now, what else is in the deep blue sea? Let's find out. Now. What's floating through the coral branches? Any ideas? A porpoise, you say? Maybe. Um, a sea turtle? Is that what you said? Could be. Let's pull the branches aside and see. <sighs> oh, how about a jiggly little jellyfish? 
I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, he stung me. What else is in the deep blue sea? Let's find out. What's lurking behind these sponges? Hmm. What could be hiding behind these sponges? Um, you know what? I'm going to take a peek if you don't mind. <gasps> I can't believe it. I, I, I got to check and make sure. Hold on. <gasps> you wouldn't believe this. Hiding behind the sponges are two ugly eels. Oh, you don't want to run in, into them in the deep blue sea. Two ugly eels, and they have pretty sharp teeth. Well, we'll let the eels go back to their sponges. Now, what else is in the deep blue sea? Let's find out. <gasps> What's lost inside this giant clam? Hmm. Interesting. What could be in there? A pearl, you say? Good guess. Let's open it up and find out. How about two squiggly squids? Look at those guys. They were hiding in the clam. <laughs> well, we'll let you go back in that clam, guys. What else is in the deep blue sea? Let's find out. What's hiding in the treasure chest? Ooh, treasure, you say? Wonderful guess. Let's open up the treasure chest and see. Ooh, it's, it's got a lock on it, too. I'll have to get my key again. Here we go. Shall we open it up? It's squeaky. <gasps> Why? It's an angry angler fish. Ooh, they are fish that live in the deepest parts of the water and they glow. But what could be under the angler fish? Let's find out. How about <gasps> a golden goblet? Why, yes, there is a treasure in there after all. Now, what is inside this mysterious shipwreck? Shall we find out? Okay. How about a great, big, wiggly octopus? <gasps> and that what's in the deep blue sea. Wow, I was rather surprised to find that octopus in that shipwreck. And I have my own little wiggly octopus right here. Can you say hello? And he waves with all eight of his arms. And he's my pet octopus, and he's a pretty good fellow. Now, my next story is about a little duckling. And this is a wonderful little book with a great big surprise. And it develops as we're reading along. So see if you can pick out what the surprise is in this book as we turn the pages. It is called Ducky's Rainbow by Francis Barry. Ducky walked home through the red poppy field. She was in a hurry. She hopped under the orange bridge. And 
waddled across and around the yellow cornfield. She hurried past the big green tree. and paddled across the cool blue pond. Can you see what's happening? Ducky arrived home and looked up at the indigo sky. The violet clouds floated by and the rain came down. When the sun came out, she saw a beautiful rainbow. What a wonderful surprise. And that's Ducky's rainbow. My next story is about a little chicken who has a surprise of his own on his first experience camping. It is called, Help Mama, Help! And it's by Shen Rohde and Francis Coney. Baby Chick stood on his toes and he looked into the mirror. He said proudly, I'm a big chick now, big enough to camp out all by myself. Baby Chick took his camping gear and Bunny into the yard. Goodbye, Baby Chick, said Mother Hen. Be careful. A big furry mouse scuttled by. You're going to sleep here all by yourself? He squeaked. Better watch out. But Baby Chick was not afraid. He whistled as he set up his tent. <whistles> A large frog hopped by. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Wouldn't you feel safer at home in your own bed? He croaked. But Baby Chick was not afraid. He just kept on whistling. <whistles> it was getting close to bedtime, and an owl blinked and hooted. Hoo, hoo, hoo. But Baby Chick was not afraid. He hooted back. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Soon it was completely dark. Some fireflies flashed and flickered. But Baby Chick was not afraid. He simply crawled into his tent. Mama will be so proud of me, he whispered to himself. <gasps> wow, what's that? Baby Chick turned on his flashlight and placed it on the floor near his sleeping bag. Suddenly, a dark shape sprang up over the tent. <gasps> a ghost! cried Baby Chick. A ghastly ghost! Baby Chick tried to escape, but the more he moved back away from the ghost, the bigger the ghost grew until it was enormous. Oh no! he cried. It's coming to get me. Help, Mama! Help! Uh-oh. Baby Chick look, looks like he's in a pickle there. Baby Chick grabbed his bunny and flew out of the tent. He ran all the way home and jumped 
into his mother's arms. A ghost! A ghost! I saw a ghost! He cried. Oh, show me, said Mother Hen, following Baby Chick back to the tent. Then Mother Hen smiled. There are no ghosts here, she said. Your flashlight is just making scary shadows on the side of the tent. Now snuggle up into your sleeping bag and shut your eyes. And Mama zipped him up. Good night, Mama, Baby Chick said. See you in the morning, baby, Mother Hen whispered. And she closed up the tent, and Baby Chick felt safe again. And soon, he fell fast asleep. Let's just make sure he's in there. Let's peek in on him very quietly. Oh, look, and he is fast asleep. We'll close it up so we won't disturb him. There we go. And in the morning, all was well. And that's, help, Mama, help. So there was no ghost at all. It was just a great big shadow. What a surprise. Now, if you love today's stories about surprises, visit the Fall River Public Library's children's room. Mention today's story time that you saw and you'll get your own surprise. We'll let you reach into our treasure chest and pull out a surprise of your own.